Thanks a second. There was the ding. Hi. Welcome to Mom Cave Live, everybody. Welcome back. We have a really, really cool guest this week. We have the fabulous, awesome, talented, wonderful, and very funny, also Hi. mom, Martha Byrne. Welcome. Hi. How are you? This is I'm very awesome. exciting. Live from my chaotic house, but it's okay. It's good. We're going to call some the here. suburbs. Yes. <laughs> out in the burbs. Thank cool. you for having me. You're, you're very welcome. I was excited to share this project that you're working on. Um, a pilot, everybody, it's called Wait. And uh, a friend of mine, Darren Strauss, created it. And she told me the idea a while ago. It's an awesome idea. And I was really lucky to get to see the pilot. And it's awesome. It's hilarious. Tell us about it. I read the script a few years ago. I met Darren at a Writers Guild party. And we just kind of hit it off and we were web series creators and she sent me the script and I just thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever read it was so good and and it's really rare that you read a script and you laugh out loud you know you, it comes from a real place and then our lives kind of got moved on to other things and then um, I worked on a show called Crisis for NBC and the director Fred Keller who I'd worked with when I was a child as well uh, I, I just sent him a few scripts of things that were in my inbox of projects that were kind of pending and he said I love this script it's definitely a hit I will direct it for free which was wow. amazing obviously you know you get this A-list director uh, who wants to be part of the project so we got everything together did a Kickstarter and got things done and, and Indiegogo at uh, Indiegogo and um, and we shot this pilot in California and had an amazing cast and you know, we picked scenes that would put, be put together for a short pilot. It's only 13 minutes long. And it's I'm so proud of it. I think it's hysterically funny. And when you were there that night at the screening, to have 100 people in a room laugh yeah, is, like, unheard of, to have people really laugh. Um, Rewarding, right? It is. It is. It's like, you know it's funny. You feel the funny. But until people, especially television shows, I rarely laugh out loud at television shows. I'll mm -hmm. laugh at like Seinfeld. You know, I, I can watch that a thousand times. And I'll Parks and Rec. Um, you know, Modern Family. Sometimes I'll laugh like out loud. But it's really hard to get somebody to to make me laugh. And I think we achieved that. And so you know, we we had planned on putting it online, and that was part of our our, our you know, if you want to make God laugh, make plans kind of thing. And mm -hmm. we uh, found a management company, found us, and we through some mutual friends and and said they wanted to represent the show. So we're in talks with, you know, many different aspects in television about the show and we're waiting patiently to see where the show will land, which we will let everyone know. As soon as we know, believe me, we want to figure out where we're going with the show. But it's 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 just so nice when when people in this industry who are at the top of their game, you know, kind of in the front in the front lines, if you will, who see a lot of pilots and read a lot of scripts see your show and and think it's amazing so we're, we're, we're really excited to see where it's where it's gonna end up yeah um, people can see a little preview of it on the website I think is it wait the series dot com it is it yeah. is you see a little tidbit of me being beaten up by my personal trainer D yeah. Freeman uh, who is amazing and again one of those scenes that you shoot and you hear people chuckling in the corner and you just know you're you're, you're getting them um, it, it just you know, when, it's, when something's well written, it's I tell this to Darren all the time. It's like when something's well written as an actor, it makes it a lot easier to be able to do what you do. Your right. use your ability as it's supposed to be used, as opposed to fixing and changing and like trying to make it work. And how do I say this? Yeah, I would never say that. Or exactly right. this show, it was just was easy to be able to play. So I, I, I'm really excited for it. Darren is an awesome writer. We should tell everybody the premise because it's so funny. Um, you play a woman, you have to correct me if I've got this right or wrong, who was in like a Biggest Loser style competition and you lost 100 pounds. 100 pounds and has been away from her family for three months and working out eight hours a day, eating basically 1,200 calories and has no communication, no communication. Her family has not seen her. Her husband hasn't seen her. And it just it deals with what happens after that fact. We know we see a lot of shows where there's a happy ending, they lose the weight, but where do they go? What happens when they go home? 
How do their friends deal with the, the, this big weight loss? How, do, how does the family handle it? The fame, being on television, all those things from someone from a small town thrown into these, this Hollywood situation, what do they deal with, how do they deal with it after the fact? You know? So what this show deals with is, at this point in the pilot, that she's lost the weight, she has to go home, but you don't know whether she's won or not. Uh -huh. If she won the big prize, and everybody wants to know if she won the big prize, and she can't tell anybody because she signed a confidentiality agreement, and <laughs> there's so things have fallen apart while she's gone, and there's a lot of I think what's interesting about it, what what kind of st struck me, is the psychological uh, idea that oh if I lose the weight I'll be happy, right? I mean that's we all know that's not true, but there is an element of of personal achievement that the person feels when they reach that goal but that isn't for anybody else but the person really if you think about it because what does it matter what anybody else thinks about you but that's re but in reality you do care what people think about how you look and people's reactions and uh, it really takes a humor a humor a, in a humor humorous way to yeah. look at it very real it's not a sitcom it's not a bum 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 you know kind of show it's not those kind of jokes. It's more in the in the, the Parks and Rec, you know, Modern Family, where there's there's the other side, the dramatic side to it as well as the the, the sadness that you feel for Claire when things don't quite work out the way she thought. Totally. Mm -hmm. And just in general, as moms, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. often the case in real life. Yes. With weight and everything else that has to do with motherhood. Um. I just want to talk about, about our giveaway really quick because it's weight related. Yes. We are giving away a miracle suit bathing suit and um, you can enter by going to the link below the video and you'll be able to find out how to enter but I don't know if you've ever tried one Martha but they're yeah. awesome. They're amazing. They're they amazing. Suck everything in. <laughs> Anything that sucks any, everything in, I'm on board. I'm yeah. on board. Like you, wanna, you don't want to think about your stomach hanging out while you're sitting at the ocean. You know, you want to just relax and it does that for you. I, I'm, I'm a total believer totally. and a fan. Yeah. My mom had one first and then introduced me and I'm a big fan. It's like an illusion, a wonderful illusion. <laughs> Perception is everything, isn't it? It's like, but then you feel better too. You don't feel like, yeah. you, you know, it's, it's all about relaxing and, and being comfortable and, and wanting to look good and all of those things um, that you, on a daily basis. And depending on how you feel, what you pull out off the rack. But it's right. nice if there's something like that that exists that you can not be so worried about it. Yeah, helps out a little bit. So I have a question for you. Yes. What is the strangest thing that you ever did to, to lose weight? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say the cleansing. You know, oh, the, no. The juice cleansing, which makes you insane. Oh. I don't care. I mean, I, for me, personally. You know the juicing for a couple of days, and then the shake, shake salad, which basically you're not you're it's liquid. You know you're into liquid diet. It works, but it, it it just does some. It's like again, it's like something goes on in the brain that's not quite happy. So everybody no. must pay um, in your life around you. It sounds like but torture. It's, good, you, I, you want, it's not a long term thing, but it's good <laughs> for like when I did weight, for instance. Um, I wanted to lose 15 pounds. That was my goal. And I love Jenny Craig. I'm a huge Jenny Craig fan, supporter. Think it definitely works. It's my go-to for everything when I want to lose weight. When I have time, you know, when I have a month or... But I did it for a while, and then I did the cleanse before I went to California to do the show. And I literally packed, like, bags of chocolate powder in my bag. And that was my, that was my food, pretty much, for the whole time that I was there. And it's just not a normal way to function. No. I'm not one of those people. Um... But I know people that are that way. That like that's how they live. They they can function on that. And I'm just like, no, I need a steak, and I need I need I need food. I love food, and it was only for a short term thing, just for the show. But I but I can maintain that if I stuck to it. It's just life, you know. It's just being. It's not how I function in real life, and most people don't. So it's better. It's more about making better choices for myself, and not doing like I'm extreme. Like I'll do the that extreme, and then be like, okay, now I'm off the wagon. Now I'm gonna go like cheeseburger it and do the whole thing and whatever. Um, so I'm not very regimented. <laughs> I should be better and I'm trying to be better about it. Um, 
because I like when I'm a certain weight. Like I, you know, when you know the weight that you sh you right. feel the most comfortable, uh, attractive, um, in the best shape. You you know you can be in. I know that number, and it's not a low number. It's not a ridiculous number. Right. You're realistic. realistic. Yeah, I'm realistic, and then I know when it's too high. Like I know when I've hit the number, I'm like, ooh, I gotta. Mm. I better just cut it back. Um, I just feel it. I don't even have to get step on a scale. I know exactly what number I am when I go on. I'm like, I bet you I'm that number, and I step to the to the pound. I'm that number. So I know when I've gone too far. Um, but we're all different, you know. We all have things that I, it's definitely a weight issue in my family. Like we all have that. That's our thing. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're big. I'm, I'm a big like when I went after I had my children. I, I gained a lot of weight when I was pregnant. I gained 70 pounds. I really a lot of weight. And once I hit that plateau of like I've lost nursing and I'm down to that now, that 20 pounds, I go to Jenny Craig, six weeks, it's off. Done. Like if you stick to it, it works. And yeah, yeah it does. It's just that d discipline and, and, and doing the best thing for yourself. Um, what's the healthiest choice for yourself and forgiving yourself when you go off the wagon, which, you know, things happen. You go off the wagon, something happens in your life that makes you want to eat a cupcake, you're like a PMS, whatever you pick, pick, and you just kind of have to forgive yourself and not realize it's not all about the cupcake. Yeah. It's so hard because I, I get so much pleasure out of food, like thinking oh, about what I'm going to eat, planning what I'm going to eat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a it's part of like cool. the enjoyment it, of life. It, it it is a part of enjoying life, and that's you know no one ever said they're on their deathbed. Why did why did I have that piece of cheesecake? You know, oh. it's like you got to experience the savory parts of life. You know, you have to in moderation. You know, it, it's all about moderation, which that's I think again, like I said, discipline and moderation. You'll be fine. I my best friend's a nutritionist, and she said the same thing. She's like, "Look, I'm not going to tell you not to have your pasta. She's like, I'm not going to tell you not to do this, have your drinks, but this is what you need to do to make sure you're in balance." So it's really nice to have a friend who I can just call up and say, "Okay, I need to lose five quick. What do I do?" Um, but it's 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 a it's a it's a necessary evil in my business, and it also makes you healthier if you're doing it right. So I don't say it's like, "Oh, show business." It's like, well, yeah, but what's the best for me health-wise, right. regardless of this business, um, to make me look the best I can but also feel the best I can. And I really try to to uh, take care of that part of my life as best I can. Yeah, I mean, show business, I think, just focuses it more, but it's definitely an issue for everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you feel like people respond or treat you differently when you're at different weights? Do you notice Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. I've, you know, being in this business, <laughs> it, you, you, it's such a part of your, what, what, what people look at in, in, in your career. Um, but in real life, too, it's nice when people say, wow, you've lost weight, and I'm like, well, how much, that much heavier than I was before? But people notice. It's something that people notice about you, and 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 people look and see. Uh, I think it's just who, our our where we who we are now in this society. Um, but absolutely, and it feels good when you have been working, and people go, "Oh my gosh, you look amazing!" Or you know, right. like when I wait, they're like, "Oh my god, your body looks amazing!" And I'm like, "I'm so hungry." Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it feels great because your hard work is paying off, and people notice that. But at the same time, you're like, well, what did I look like before? You're like, what, what, where was I yeah. then? Was it bad? Why are they saying that? Yeah, and it's really, it's not because I know I do the same thing with my sisters. I'm like, oh my gosh, you look great, and everybody wants to hear that. Um, but I'm much more con self-conscious, I think, than most people. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I feel like yes, I notice when you do lose weight, people will speak up and say something. I mean. And the extreme op, you know, in the business when you're in the business and you're, you know, doing wardrobe fittings and you have, you know, pe people. I remember once a wardrobe person said, "Well, what what size pants should I pull for you today? Well, how's your what's going on with the body?" And I was like, "What's going on with the body? I didn't know anything was going on with the body. Like, uh, pull them all. I don't know. What, what are you gonna do?" And so it's much more focused on that when you're doing a show and you're surrounded by women. And I was very comfortable with my body. I never had any issues with my body. 
Um, other people may have, but I didn't. But that's kind of the business that, that I'm in, and more so now than when I started in the business. When yeah. I started, it didn't. I was chunky, a t teenager. Never once was it brought up. Not one time did anyone ever say, "Oh, you need to drop a few." Or, but now I think we're much more body conscious in this, right. in our industry, in the world. Um, I never even worried about that. Thank God, because as a teenager, it really can impact the future of your. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I saw it happen. I saw it to happen to actresses who were young who were told one little thing, and it just sent them in downward spiral. Um, yeah. Thank God that didn't happen. I wrote a whole episode that beca became one of the episodes of our web series Slummy Mummy. It really happened where I had just had a baby, and an agent was like, "Come back when you lose the baby weight," you know. And she was checking on me, and I I just wanted to be like, "I will in a couple weeks." I've just had. Right. A Maybe come out of me. I know. Um, and then they don't, especially if they've never had kids, they don't get it. That it's right. just part well, of it. Also, in this industry, I think when you see actresses who bounce back really fast, and I've seen it personally in my own life, and I just didn't because I wasn't them, um, and that's fine. But, you know, I remember being, I think I was like 110 pounds. Like I was out in LA, and some agent said, Oh, we would take you, but, you know, your arms are a little chunky. My oh. arms? I have an Emmy. You're worried about my arms? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's I like it. I have an Emmy and you're worried about my arms. About my arms? Uh, uh, clearly they didn't sign me. But that was like the, one of my first indications of going, oh, I didn't know I had chubby arms. Meanwhile, I was like 110 pounds. You know, you know. Like, it's just a mental thing. You see, it's, it's not, it has nothing to do with reality. It's, it's a mental game. So my mom always told me, she's like, as long as you're at your top of your game, you feel confident and comfortable, it doesn't really matter what anybody says because they have an opinion, but if you feel like you're not at your best, then you work on that. And, yeah. and, and I think that's the, the constant um, issue that you know, is always around when you're doing this as a, for a living. It's always something you have to think about. Totally. So you feel, you want to feel good. Um, feel good, yeah. Yeah. We're just coming up on our time. It went so quickly. It did. Um, it was very fast. I know. There's so much to talk about. I can't wait till everybody gets to see Wait. Because Me too. I know. Really Thank you for your patience, but it's all good. That's you know that that's the thing. It's like you know you you, you this is like your. Let's put it this way. You know, people that are watching this pilot right now are is like a dream come true for both Darren and myself. And the fact of where it is right now, and the people that are actually considering the show, is beyond our wildest dreams. So. What happens with it, we don't know, but it's in some amazing hands, and we couldn't be more excited uh, for the future of the show. What happens, we'll know soon enough, very soon. So thank you for your patience, and uh, I hope we have some really good news soon. I, I know you will, and I'll share it with everybody. And, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So uh, enter the giveaway, people. Get a miracle suit so you don't have to think yeah. so much about this. Um, <laughs> And check okay. out Wait the Series right. so you can see Martha be a little crazy. Um, a little crazy. Cra crazy and hilarious. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I said, don't mind, don't mind my lighting. I said, we all have the flu in my house, so we're all, we're all, we're all dropping like flies around here. So I got my, my handy dandy light over there. So forgive the, the face, the it, paleness. No, we're at my, home. We're at home. We're at home. We're chilling out. Chilling out with the kids. Yep. All right. You have a great night. Thank you so Thank much. You. Anytime. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.